Good morning to you, my friends. I bring you, this is Pastor Joe Palikathayel. I bring you greetings of the amazing love of the Lord Jesus Christ. What a powerful experience it is to know and believe that we are loved by the Lord God Almighty. Even before we, are, we were created in the womb of our mothers. What a mystery, miracle and glory. Oh, sisters and brothers, let us encourage one another to experience this truth that we are loved by the Almighty God. I invite you to meditate today on John chapter 20 verse 17. It is the resurrection scene. Mary Magdalene saw Jesus and she fell at his feet calling out Rabboni and held on to his feet. And Jesus said, do not hold on to me because I have not returned to my father and but I am returning to go instead go and tell my disciples that I am returning to my father and your father, my God and your God. Jesus did not want Mary Magdalene to hold on to him, hindering him to accomplish all that he has planned to accomplish. It is not only Mary Magdalene, it's our nature. When we see something absolutely fantastic, miraculous, out of this world, we just want to cling to that, that experience. Mary Magdalene did not want to leave Jesus. She loved him so much and she hurt for him so much when, she, when he died on the cross. And when she couldn't find the body, she was weeping and weeping. There he was. And she held on to him. Sisters and brothers, when we get a spiritual experience, a mountaintop experience, we too do not want to leave. Remember the apostles whom Jesus took up on the top of a mountain and he was transfigured. They saw him with Moses and the voice of heaven spoke. Moses and Elijah, and, uh, and it disappeared because that is a temporary experience. In order for us to hold on to that experience in our heart, not to make three booths, three shelters, as Peter suggested on the top of the mountain. Sisters and brothers, let's think about the spiritual experiences God has given us in the past and God may give us that in the future too but what is more important is to experience God right now in our faith faith is being sure of what we do not see and be certain of what we hope for we don't see Jesus but we are sure of him that is faith so see him in faith and worship him in faith, adore him in faith, and thereby speak with him and listen to him. And then he will tell us, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Oh, sisters and brothers, we are chosen by Jesus. We are appointed by Jesus to bear fruit that will last. The only fruit that will last is love. Faith and hope are theological virtues with love. But faith and hope will disappear when we leave this earth. Only thing that will last is love. Oh, sisters and brothers, throughout this day, let us receive the love of Christ more and more and give it out joyously, gloriously, delightfully to everyone in thought, words, and deeds. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for loving us, 
creating us out of love, redeeming us at the cost of your son's life. Lord Jesus Christ, we glorify you for your death on the cross that liberated us from all sins. Precious Lord Jesus Christ, continue to live within us and enable us to enjoy you right within us, talking to you, listening to you, and obeying you. O Holy Spirit, set us on fire every day, fire of your love, that we may share that love with everyone, in words, in thoughts, in prayer, in actions. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name, the most powerful name, Jesus Christ. Amen.